picture you see on the left is what computers look like 20 years after they were initially introduced. And the picture you see on the right here is what metal 3D printers look like today, 20 years roughly after the technology was introduced. They both require dedicated rooms, dedicated operators. You know, they're kind of like mainframes or mini computers. So we started Desktop Metal with a mission to change that. Uh, we've raised over $100 million from Google, BMW, Kleiner Perkins, NEA, General Electric, and other great investors. And uh, we're working pretty hard to, to modify the way that, that uh, people are going to be 3D printing metal parts. We're introducing two products today. The first one is our studio system. It's the first system that allows you to print metal parts in an office environment. You have it here in, in the stage. I think this is a first for Rapid. It's, Rapid's been around for 20-something years, 27 years. I don't think anybody's ever put a metal 3D printing that actually works on the stage, because you'd require a special room built around it and all sorts of other things. So the fact that you can have a full system here uh, is, is pretty exciting. The system is 10 times cheaper, sells, sells for a fraction of the cost, and uh, has a number of other benefits, like the fact that it's safe for, for use uh, by regular folks. You don't need respirators. You don't need 40 volt three phase. You don't need permits. You don't have to talk to your fire department when you install it. You don't, your supports aren't welded to the, to the bill plate. Uh, so in summary, it's a, it's a huge, huge improvement. It's also affordable. The printer starts at $50,000. has a similar build envelope as an SLM280 or a Concept Laser M2 or an EOS290. Uh, and it gives you excellent parts in a variety of alloys, many of which are not even available in SLM or, or DMLS. It works by splitting the process into two parts. Our printing process is something we call bound metal deposition, where we put the metal powder inside a series of polymers. You print your part, similar to the way that you do with metal FDM with FDM, but this time with metal. And then you have a furnace uh, that is microenhanced that allows you to center your parts. And when you come back in the morning, it's Christmas every morning. So you come back and, and you have uh, your parts fully centered. So I have a little video here that uh, is going to show you how this works in a second. Uh, there's a lot, number of other alternatives to the technology. You're able to change materials in less than 60 seconds. You have a, a cartridge system that literally you pull out your cartridge and you go from 4140 to copper to titanium to stainless steel to covars, invars, 4140. The last three materials are not available in DMLS, for example. And then you have expert metallurgy built in. The furnace has all the profiles. It's cloud connected. And it allows you to uh, calculate exactly uh, all the requirements so that you'd have a successful uh, part at the end of your process. Uh, it's a very easy to use system. The software guides you through the full process. You set up your parts, you print them, you debine and center them, and then you're finish, you finish them. We have a proprietary separable supports technology where we print a ceramic layer uh, that you can see there in the print area. That allows you to separate your supports by hand, unlike DMLS where you have to pull out a uh, wire EDM or all sorts of other tools to do it. So here for the first time, you literally can use your part practically straight out of your printer. So it's a, a pretty exciting, pretty exciting innovation. We get near net shape parts, uh, roughly two thousandths of an inch for every inch uh, in terms of dimensional tolerances, which is excellent for uh, a device like this. Let me show you a little video that shows how this works.
Awesome. All right. So mat materials is one of the key advantages of this process. MIM, which is the core uh, technology that our process is built around, supports hundreds of alloys. There's standards behind all of them. That allows us to roll out materials much faster than SLM has in the past. And uh, one of the things that, that's exciting is we're going to have 30 alloys available day one uh, at the time we launch. We split them into two parts, what we call core alloys, which are uh, what we, you know, those are sort of materials that, that are a significant amount of testing. Uh, we're launching Kovar, Inconel, C11000 copper, 4140 uh, chrome moly, H13 tool steel, 17.4, and 3.16. And then we have what we call development alloys, which are, you could call them beta, but we'll work with you to optimize them and improve them. And in development alloy, we have a whole variety of materials that uh, have never been available to 3D printing before. Uh, for example, Biodur, Nitronic, Hyperco 50, um, you know, Veloxin stainless steels, which are very high performance uh, uh, materials, etc. That's a huge, huge differentiator. And so why did we design the process around metal injection molding? There's a, a variety of, of benefits to this. Uh, one of them is the fact that, uh, like I said earlier, there's a lot more materials th that are available. Uh, and uh, these materials uh, are, are mature now. And there's a production uh, base behind it. The fact that there's three orders of magnitude higher volume production for MIM alloys uh, is a huge advantage uh, from the point of view of supply chain and cost and, and uh, being able to, to produce things cost effectively. So today we are announcing two partnerships in that realm. One is with Carpenter Corporation, it's a multi-billion dollar company, uh, world leader in the, in the MIM space. And the second one is uh, with Sandvik Corporation, which is a $15 billion supplier of powder metallurgy uh, alloys, also uh, a major producer in the MIM space and their full catalogs are going to be available uh, in our platform, as well as cartridges branded uh, by them uh, available for our platform. That's, that's a very exciting uh, uh, thing for our customers. So they can actually work with the same materials that they use to mass produce parts. So let me go next to uh, our production system, which is our, our second product, which will be available uh, later next year. So this is a DM production system. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's leveraging MIM alloys, which are produced at much higher volumes than DMLS and SLM powders. As a result, they're a lot less expensive. They don't require oxygen control. They don't require uh, the same particle size distribution control that you require when you're uh, welding things with a laser. Uh, when you combine much lower cost powder with a printing system that's 100 times faster, you end up with parts that are 20 times lower cost. And that's what the production system's all about. It's about competitive cost per part. Uh, we're going to show you a, a water wheel in a video in a second. And for that specific part, which is from a German automaker, uh, we're able to be competitive with casting up to 100,000 units. That's a huge deal. So here we go. Metal 3D printing could change much of the world around us if it was fast enough and cheap enough for mass production. Introducing the production system, powered by single-pass jetting. At up to 100 times faster than laser-based systems, it's the first metal 3D printing solution for mass production. It works by combining two powder spreaders and one print unit into a single-pass system to both spread metal powder and print. Unlike existing metal 3D printing, there is no wasted motion with single-pass jetting. A single pass starts in the powder spreader, where a metering system deposits metal powder, and a compacting system forms a layer, as thin as a human hair. The print bar follows, jetting droplets of a binding agent. Millions are jetted per second, binding metal powder to form high-resolution layers. Anti-sintering agents are then deposited, making it possible for supports to fall off after sintering, saving hours of post-processing. Once the layer is dried, 
the process repeats itself. Single pass jetting is bi-directional. We combined all the necessary steps for printing into a single pass so that whenever there is movement, there is printing. This makes it possible to print parts in minutes instead of hours. Once printed, the brown parts are densified in a microwave-enhanced furnace. It combines conventional heating with microwaves to speed up sintering. A closed-loop thermal control system regulates temperatures in real time as parts are heated to just below their melting point. Binder is removed and metal particles are fused to form a dense solid. The production system is cloud-connected. Sophisticated software manages the entire workflow with profiles that are tuned to every build and material, from the printer to the furnace, delivering dense metal parts. The result is sheer throughput. In the time it takes laser-based processes to produce just 12 impellers, desktop metal single-pass jetting technology would have produced over 500. To date, metal 3D printing has been too expensive and too slow to change the world around us. At up to 100 times faster than existing technologies, the production system unlocks the cost per part needed for mass production. For the first time, it's possible to go to market with metal 3D printing. Awesome. So, this is a summary of what we're introducing today. Two different systems. The first one is the first system that enables you to print metal parts in an office. Think about it. Everything fits through a door. All you need is power, no need for venting, no need for permits. You can get started tomorrow. This ships in September this year. It's available through over 30 uh, resale partners uh, that we'll be announcing uh, uh, shortly. The second system is our production system, which will be available uh, this time next year. And uh, we're working with a variety of partners uh, to advance that and get it to market quickly. Uh, we have a card that was handed out to uh, many of you when you entered the room. It has a code in the back. Please feel free to register. You'll get a sample part from our process. And uh, also, we have a booth downstairs. Uh, we have all products on display and working uh, for you to see. Uh, we're going to have a great panel with some of our customers, Caterpillar, Jabil, Lowe's. And uh, we, we're happy to answer any questions about, about our stuff uh, later on. Thank you very much for coming. And, uh... Thank you.